Hello students, today we are going to see standard 4 English, term 3. The topic is the best policy. Honesty is the best policy. Honesty has the power. Very few people can handle this. Let me see the power of honesty. Come, let us move on to the video session. Term 3, standard 4, English. Unit 1. The best policy. I give the missing thing to the owner or to the police. This is the honesty. Honesty is the best policy. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the power of the honesty. Let me learn my little pictionary. Foothill, a low hill at the base of a mountain. Throne, the chair of the ruler. Nurture, care for and protect something while they grow. Prison, a place where people who do not follow the law are locked up. Brass, a metal made by mixture of copper and zinc. The seven seeds. Long ago, there was a kingdom at the foothills, lower hills of Anamalai. The kingdom flourished, developed in a healthy way in trade and arts under the rule of the king's rule. He was respected and revered by all. It has been 30 years under his rule now. One day, the aging, that means getting old, King woke up worried. He was getting very old and had no hair. Hair means a person who continues to work off legally. To take his place, he decided to adopt. Adopt means legally take and raise a child as the heir, but he knew that that adopted child must be honest. To find the child, he held a competition in his kingdom that was open to all. The competition had many levels and spanned. Spanned means a period of time for nearly six months. At the end of it, Five boys and five girls made it to the very last round. There seemed little to separate them. Each one of them was intelligent, strong and capable. The king said, I have one last test for you all. The one who passes this test will be the winner. As you all know, the winner will be the heir of my throne. Throne means the chair of the ruler. He continued, Our kingdom depends on agriculture. So, the new leader must know how to grow plants. Here are seven seeds of wheat for each of you. Take them home, plant and nurture. Nurture means care. Them for six weeks. At the end of the sixth week, we shall see who has done the best job of nurturing them. That person will be the heir to the throne. Children, can you guess how the king would find the honest kid using the seeds? Come, let me see. The children took their seeds and hurried home. They all got a pot prepared some soil and sowed. Sowed means plant the seeds. The entire kingdom was excited. They were all anxious. Anxious means eager to see who the next king would be. One of the finalists was Ani. The day stretched into weeks but the seeds failed to sprout. Ani didn't know what had gone wrong? Annie Hunt and her parents were 
heartbroken. She had selected the soil with care, put the right manure. Manure means animal waste used to fertile land and were dutifully watered it. She had even prayed over it day and night and yet her seeds had not grown at all. Some of her friends advised her to go and buy new seeds from the market and plant. After all, they said, how can anyone tell if they were the same seeds? Annie's parents had always taught her the value of honesty. They reminded her that if the king wanted them to plant just any wheat, he would have asked them to get the seed. If you use any different from what the king gave, that would be dishonest. Maybe you are not destined. Destined means coming for the throne. If so, let it be, but it would be wrong to cheat the king. They told her, Annie agreed. It had been six weeks now. The much awaited, awaited means wait for an event. Day had come. The children returned to the palace, each of them proudly carrying a pot of healthy seedlings. It was obvious that the other nine had great success with the seeds. The king arrived. He was beaming. Beaming means smiling broadly, looking at the children and their part of healthy seedlings. He began walking along the line of pots the children had kept. He asked each of them, is this wheat grew from the seeds I gave you? And each of them responded, Yes, your majesty. And the king would nod and move down the line. The king finally got the last one, Annie. The girl was shaking. She feared that the king might have thrown her into prison for wasting his precious seeds. What did you do with the seeds I gave you? The king asked. Your majesty, I planted them and cared for them every day. I am sorry, but they failed to sprout. Annie said. She hung her head in shame. Boo! jeered the crowd. But the king raised his hands and signalled for silence. Then he said, Dear people, behold. Behold means see. See my hair, the next leader of our kingdom. The people were confused. Why that girl? How can she be the right choice? The king took his place on his throne with Annie by his side and said, I gave each of them seven seeds. This test was not for growing wheat. It was a test for test of character, test of honesty. If a leader must have one quality, it must be that he or she should be honest. People should be able to trust the leader. Only this girl passed the test. I gave boiled seeds. And boiled seeds cannot grow. The girl has the strength and courage to admit the truth. Honesty has a power very few people can handle. Children, try to be honest in all moments. It will help you to uplift in your life. Thank you. Let me see some. Glossary pot. Kingdom. A region ruled by a king. Flourished. Developed in a healthy way. Revered. Respected. Aging. 
getting old adopt legally take and bring up leader head nurture care protect and grow anxious eager destiny fate behold see children see the picture we saw many animals and birds here what sound does the parrot make ki 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 did you know that sound is called talk like that the sounds made by animals have names come let us learn them parrot hi i talk beautifully i too will talk both of us talk let's see what our friends do monkey i chatter elephant says i trumpet lion says i roar cow says i moo goat says i bleat snake says i hiss these are the sounds of the animals let us learn some more sounds dogs bark horses neigh donkeys bray rabbits squeak pigs grunt cats mew bees hum ducks quack owls hoot frogs croak sparrows chip cocks crow 